Daryl, can I refer back to last weekend, first game against Barrow? Did we see a team ex raising their game above expectations because of who we are and what we're aiming for? Well, I, well, I thought it was a little bit of both. Uh, we started so well and um, we were 12 nil up in no time. I don't think that was particularly good for us. Uh, and they responded really well. I thought their, their half-backs kicking game was, was out of the top draw. He put us under a lot of pressure. Um, and I thought we were below where we would expect to, to be standard-wise. I thought we made too many errors. Um, we allowed Barrow into the game a little bit as a result of that. We didn't execute as well as we would have liked to. Um, but they, they showed what, what this level of competition is about. You know, the really committed teams who who come and they'll try and disrupt us, which I thought they did with his kicking game. And, you know, we can't afford to uh, to let that um, stop us doing what we want to do. So I thought there was a mix. I thought they played really well at times and, and we were a little bit below the, the standard we, we would expect of ourselves. Can I just mention two players? How enthusiastic is how enthusiastic is Harvey Smith and how well did he take that try? Yeah, I thought um you know, he, he was really sharp and whenever he's 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 come onto the field for us, I think he's he's been excellent. Um you know, defensively he's he, he's small but but committed to that. Um and then when he gets the ball he's just sharp, you know, that that try that he scores there is electric and he's been doing that Every game he's played, really, he's, he's either creating opportunities or, um, or he's making breaks because of his, his speed and his uh, his awareness. So, yeah, I've been really pleased with what he's done so far. And how well is Max Jarrett's goal kicking? 42 successes from 45 attempts. Well, yeah, well, he just absolutely strikes the ball, you know, pin straight with... Uh, he's got a great range. Um, a really, really good goal kicker. I've been really impressed with... With how he's been striking the ball and his overall game has been really good as well but uh, yeah his goal kicking certainly has been outstanding. Moving on to this coming weekend Featherstone Rovers where you coached for a number of years you got them to the top of the league on a number of occasions championship grand finals but Featherstone were never promoted why, why was that? Yeah well, well look the, the game's been through different sort of uh, eras really in terms of licensing and then promotion and relegation you know, you're looking at into IMG now and the way that that looks. So it's been a complex sort of myriad of situations, really. And, um, you know, that's the way it was then. I remember um, going and playing at Widnes, having won the League Leaders' Shield, and they all took the up caps, as they called them, uh, the other fake ones. Uh, and Widnes got promoted that year through the licensing system. So, look, it is what it is. You know, it's um, the, way, the way the game's structure over here has changed a bit. And you do what you can you can do, and um, yeah, that that would, would have been disappointing for them over a number of years. But then obviously last year they had a genuine opportunity and, and couldn't quite take it. So you know they they'll obviously be frustrated about that. So what's it going to be like for Daryl Powell going back to Featherston? Oh, well, you know, wherever I've been, I've pretty much wherever I've been, I've really enjoyed my, my time as a, as a coach, and I did there. Um, you know, I just I've got focused on the job that I've got to do. You know, we've got a we've got a quality group of players here and a club that's uh, that's really on the up. And um, this is a great opportunity for us to to continue the positive start that we've had to the season. Uh, and the Challenge Cup is is obviously a, a, an awesome competition that we all want to do well in. And uh, this this represents our our next opportunity to get through to a uh, through a knockout competition. Obviously, Super League clubs come in at the next round and. We'd like to have a crack at that, but we've got to pay our respects to, to what Featherstone are about. We've, we've played on, on that pitch um, already. It's a tough pitch to play on. Um, not sure what it's going to be like uh, in terms of underfoot because it was heavy last time we played on it. And uh, and it's got a fair slope on it, so you've got to manage that well as well. So, But we're aware of, of what's in front of us and, and we know we need to play well. James Ford's the Featherstone coach. He was here as assistant last year. He'll have them fired up, won't he? Yeah, I think so. I think from you know different bits I'm hearing that they've been talking about us a fair bit this year, um, all, all through pre-season apparently. So yeah, get ready for what's going to be a real tough, tough battle. And you know, Featherston teams are always tough and uncompromising, and we don't expect anything different. For us, is is to go and get on the front foot as quickly as we can, and don't sit and wait. You can, you know, they always talk about not dipping your toe in the water in rugby league, you can't do that because it's a physical sport every time you take the field and we know it'll be the same this week, it'll be a tough game for us. And is your preparation going as you hoped? 
Yeah, well, we we, we revealed on on Monday. Um, it was a pretty long one because I felt like there was a, there was a lot of things in there that we'd need to be better at. And then we've trained today, looked at a fair bit of detail today, and tidying up some of the uh, the, the way we want to play uh, with with the ball. Um, and then we train tomorrow, so we're we're in a good place. Uh, we're looking forward to the the challenge. Uh, you know, potentially get a couple of players coming back into contention this this week. Obviously, Mason's back from his uh, his suspension. Um, and, and a couple of other players who are, you know, injury-wise potentially coming back. So we'll wait and see what the rest of the week brings. You mentioned Mason Lee. Now, does that give you a half-back selection problem? Yeah, I, I think Miles has been really good. I think he's he's improved. He's he's had a couple of games uh, on on the spin. Um, his kicking game's improved defensively. He's looking a lot a lot stiffer. Um, I'd like to see him take the line on a little bit more. I think that's one of his key strengths. So we'll keep encouraging him to do that. But he's been good. He's improved. Uh, he's really taken on board everything that the coaches have said to him, and I've been, I've been pleased for him the way he's been going about his uh, his work. And you just mentioned victory would take us into the sixth round. Super League clubs in there. It would be great to have a Super League club, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I think that's t- well, it's something we spoke about in pre-season. It's something that the players would would like to have a go at. Um, obviously, really challenging going up against Super League teams, but you know, there's a lot of these boys played Super League. Um, for, for Wakefield over, over numerous years there are some new players in there who haven't quite experienced that yet and I think it'd be uh, it'd be great it'd really whet the appetite of the fans and and I think the players as well are getting ready to uh, to do that but you know we can't do that until we get through this one so um, we've got to do everything we can to prepare ourselves and make sure we're ready to go All the best for Sunday Darren thanks Thank for you. joining us Cheers